What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization Beyond Earth as the uh, North Sea Alliance. Um, I have some good news for you guys. There was an update uh, recently that actually added some cool stuff to the game. Uh, let's see. First of all, we got the black market thing. Uh, so this is new. You can now use your agents to get resources that normally you would not be able to get. So. Um, let's say I have floatstone, but let's say I ne really needed something like Xenomass. I could send one of my agents out. And he could try to, uh, produce one resource per turn. What? Alright, we gotta check this out. I wanna see how this works. Assign. Um, finding sellers. Alright, we'll just figure it out. Abort. Wait, I'm... Let's make sure I got this correctly. So, assign this agent to a black market to produce one resource per turn for an amount of diplomatic capital. Alright, so that's how it works. So, I would actually, um, use 50 of my diplomatic capital, I believe, to get some resources. So, th they did offer us a new, uh, thing to do with spies. Honestly, I'm not too certain how good this is or what to use it for, but I have to say that when I do get... Uh, a need for certain resources, I definitely will want to, uh, check this out. Um, another thing they actually added is the, uh, let's see. I believe they called it Spoils of War, where we can, if we want to make peace with this guy, we can actually choose what happens. Um, but it only works when he's actually willing to go to, to actually, um, get peace with us. So, uh, apparently right now it's not available. Um, alright, let's just... Generator, you know what? Just do whatever you'd like to do. Really don't care too much. Um, so we are still at war with Australia, or um, what are they called again? What's their official? Paul Australia, isn't it? Commonwealth of the Pacific. All right, well, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Three free trade route slots and one in every other city. He actually has a pretty overpowered um, ability, if you ask me. It seems that there's still not a lot of balance in terms of that. Like, some people have extremely overpowered, um, abilities. Oh, here we go. So we're fighting Australia right now. Okay. Um, so I had a choice between fighting an enemy that we're at war with... ...or killing an alien that wasn't actually doing anything. And they, well, they made their choice. Alright, well, at least our cutter got an upgrade as well. Um... Alright, so we were going over here. We want to meet this person. So I'm just going to send this guy south. Uh, so we can hopefully finally meet this other person that is in the game with us. And Tidehunter, you will... Let's see. Where did I send my fleet again? Oh, right. I was taking... Okay. I had this very impractical way of getting all the way over to this guy. So we're going to fire. Let's do, let's do some damage to his cutter. Uh, we basically want the war score to go way, way up. Alright, there you go. Oh, that's a good victory. I'll take that, actually. So we want the war score to, get, to go way up by taking his cities, attacking him. Things like that. It might go up, actually, if we have more troops or something. I honestly don't know how it works. Um, but we basically do want the war score to go up as far as we can. Alright, take out all aliens. We are destroying everything. Alright, so... Yeah, farm, sure. You go ahead and do that. So... 50 damage, that's not bad. Let's take a look at the war score now. 68. Alright, he will not consider peace when the conflict has barely begun. So you really need to be fighting him, uh, doing damage. Or he needs to be damaging you, and then eventually... I'm guessing that he is willing to, uh, come to some type of peace agreement. Alright, Lena's into it. So we were thinking about... Oh. Okay. We were thinking about doing a domination victory, so we're still sort of seeing... Seriously? Just ki killing aliens. Why? These aliens are killing themselves, basically. They did one damage to my guy. <laughs> you know, why? Alright, let's, uh... Keep going. Okay, more of those weak things. So many aliens, and they're all very, very angry. All right, go. All right, so let's open fire. Let's take out the Hydra Coral here. Because we don't want it to, uh, to spread around too much. All right, go. 
Alright, let's see. We got quite a lot of aliens. Let's start taking some of these down, shall we? Alright, that's good. Uh, I'm pretty sure wolf beetles don't have ranged attacks. It's only the, the manticores, and even those are really weak. Uh, so let's just go around. Let's just kill as many aliens as we can, really. And, alright, this guy's healing. Alright, so in Deep Keep, we have a lot of options. Uh, Network, Neurolab, Thorium Reactor. The one thing that we actually do need is health, and we don't really have a way of getting more of that right now. Extra production from water tiles, that's a good one to have. Um, alright. Gotcha. How are we supposed to get more health? War score points increase, uh, strategic resources... There really isn't any options, I believe, that will give me more health. So, that's kind of a bummer. Alright. Uh, personality traits... Oh, we can upgrade this one, that's right, okay. But, oh, we already did. It's, it's as high as, it, as it'll actually go. Um, alright. I guess there's not too much we can do right now in terms of health. We gotta get some research, like the Bionics Lab. Health plus 20%, that's actually really nice. Uh, we need some more purity for that, though. <clears throat> and some resolin, apparently. And bio wells are actually pretty sweet. They are pretty expensive, but they give a lot of food and they give some health. So we probably want to get some of those going. I do like how Beyond Earth gives you far more control over... Basically everything, uh, in terms of improvements as well. It's not just farms and hills and mines, it's, um... You can actually get health from this stuff, which is really nice. Alright, let's keep going. Oh god, we're getting close. We gotta go further south, oh boy. It's another alien nest. Alright, this guy is going to... Alright, let's take out the Hydra Coral. Oh wait, this is an enemy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Alright. Guess we gotta shoot it then. Here we go. So we do want to make sure that our supremacy will go even higher up. Let's see. Oh, we could we can take him out pretty easily, so we can just heal. And be okay. Oh, full out, alright. Let's see how, how the war score is looking now. 68 still. So I'm guessing it just goes up whenever you take out one of his units or you take out one of his cities. He still he likes my culture though. I'm not sure what he what he tried to do there. But my guy got a veterancy upgrade, so I guess that's cool. Oh god, we got a Makara there. We have a lot of aliens here as well. That are all just dying. God. Yeah, I don't know what to do with these aliens. Because they're just gonna keep attacking now. They're obviously very angry. Alright, destroy Jinsoku Labs. Is what, uh, let's see, quest updated. So... Jung Sang has proposed to construction, blah blah blah. Alright, so we need to build a Neurolab building. And we gotta, let's see... Destroy Jinsoku Labs for what? Patrol boat, with little know about the organization, okay, blah blah blah. Alright, so we gotta destroy Jinsoku Labs. Which is where? There. Alright, we'll take it out. Honestly, shouldn't be too much of a problem. They're still very small. And there probably isn't too much that they can actually do against me, so that'll be fine. Alright, let's keep going. So we want these boats to join our other... Oh god, okay. Looks like this is basically the end, so we, we do have to go around this way, which is pretty annoying. Uh, yes, upgrade for you. Take out the Australian boat. See, the Makara is pretty dangerous, but not dangerous enough. Oh god, alright. Well, just heal up, don't worry about it. It's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna lead the unit. Alright, there we go. Alright, Deep Castle. We need... what? Master Control, Guaupu, Yalan. Do we need this? Alright, so that would be 9% if we make it in the capital. I can't believe that our capital is actually this small, though. That's a little embarrassing. Alright, let's, um... Auto plant network. Laboratory? You kind of do gotta have a laboratory just for that science. 
but an auto plant's also really nice, just for that money and production. What a refinery. Oh, that's good. Yep, going with that. Uh, this guy gets an upgrade, so that's cool. I gu I'm guessing I made this just now. Uh, which is why it's getting a... an upgrade immediately. Listen to that music. Oh boy. Alright, I honestly don't even know how many, um, cities this guy has. But right now we have four boats, we have, uh, three more on the way. I felt like I had a bigger fleet than this. Oh, the aliens are going all out. Look at that. Alright, Agent has arrived in Deep Castle. Um, okay, yep. Cool. I'll give you that one. Alright, let's go and ch take out Jinsoku Labs. Yes. Pretty sure a cutter should do a lot of damage to you. Yeah, there you go. So, my, my thing only took 23 damage and we did 49, so... About 2-3 attacks and that thing is down. Uh, Hollow Sweet. Okay, Rocket Battery. A thorium Reactor. We don't need the money, really. I think we'll just go with a water refinery, get our production up a bit. Alright, let's go, boys. Let's go. We gotta kill Australia, and then also all these aliens are kinda in my way, so let's take them out. Tide Hunters are actually pretty sweet, because they stay seem to stay invisible. Um, oh, now he's spotted, though. Probably because he attacked. Still not 100% sure how all this uh, works. Alright, so go... Let's take out a wolf beetle. Just kill the aliens. Alright, cool. So I'm just gonna have them um, heal up a bit over here, and then I'll just move the rest of my boats there and just send the entire fleet to Australia. Uh, in the meantime, we do gotta work on our health, though, because... Minus one. It's not the end of the world. It means that we have slightly slower growth. Apparently. So it might ex not actually be as bad as it is in uh, Civ 5, but still, obviously, I want it as high as it can be. So we do want to get some uh, some bio wells soon. Bionic Slab would be nice, but I don't know if we have any um, Resolin anywhere. Let's see. If we had some next to the capital, that would be pretty great, but I don't think we have any of it anywhere. I know it's usually on land, but here we go. That's one. So, that's kind of a bummer. Would have been nice, but what are you going to do about it? Except, you know, move the entire city, but that seems a bit excessive. Alright, uh, let's see. I'm going to have you go over here. He's invisible again. Let's take out the Hydra Coral. Because it is a bit of a threat. Alright, here you go. Just cut right through it. And I'm going to have this guy heal up. Alright, just go. I don't care about that little alien. Um, he simply will not be able to do that much damage, so he's not much of a threat at all. Alright, take it out. Almost there. Sweet. Alright, so it's probably one more attack and they should be, uh, dead. I hope so, at least. 30 hit points, and I don't know how many my boat has, but we'll see. Alright, this guy likes my culture. I don't know why, though. Seeing as he is probably the next one to go. If we are going for domination, we probably want to take out Africa. Um, seeing as he is the closest to my capital. So, I'm thinking that he would be next at that point. Look at this. It's a Paul Australian little, um... A little thingy. I can't take it out, though. That sucks. Alright, let's keep going. All right, this guy. All right. Uh, yep. Take him out. You can do it, buddy. Oh, God. Still not dead. All right. Take that thing out. Heal up. Keep it going. Come on, fellas. We got a war to fight. All right. So this guy is going to wait for the bio wells, I'm thinking. Uh, let's get a... We have, like, nothing that will actually give me a whole lot of, um... Food. Alright, let's get a note, I guess. 
We didn't, wait, was it called Node? Yeah, it's a Node, all right. Uh, let's see, health. Uh, do we have, oh, public security, all right, that's definitely one that I want, so that we can, um, just get a bunch of, uh, troops. And then we also get plus 10% production and energy, and we just get, you know, health for troops, it's good. And then all we gotta do is just get more troops. Uh, sure, I got you. Alright, let's take a look at this war score again. 84. Still is not into it. Alright. Well, don't say I didn't warn you, buddy. I have the means to create a giant army. I have enough for, for Exide already, so that's good. Honestly, I don't even know what type of army this guy has. He is the number two in the game, so that's good for him. Yep, plunder. Thanks, sucker. You actually get very little from these. Oh, they, he li they're all liking the fact that I plundered from this guy. How are they all, like, into that? I really thought that some of them would be upset, but no. They're all saying, good job. That's fun, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> what? All right, uh, master control. All right, petrochemical plant is actually pretty good because we do have some uh, petroleum here. It doesn't give us that much though, does it? I'd be better off getting something like a neuro lab here. Yeah, let's get a neuro lab. Um, sure, buddy. We're still friends for now, so I'm gonna work with you. All right, I'm gonna have my uh, submarine take a look. All right, here we go. Costly attack, but Jinsoku Labs will be dead. And there we go. We get a lot of extra supremacy stuff. Uh, unit heals. Units heal more when uh, fortified. I just said, so that's pretty cool. Unit heals five HP more when fortified. That's actually really, really convenient. And we get an upgrade to our cruisers finally. Um. All right. So higher defense when defending or. A bit of extra strength when next to a friendly unit. That one is actually not that bad, but... Yeah, alright, I'll take that one. Uh, gunners. I don't even use gunners, but I'll take the same upgrade. At least they look cool now. Alright, so we got level 7 Supremacy. That's actually really, really sweet. We might... No, we're not gonna make it. Alright, so we are gonna reach level 3 in Harmony, though. Let's see. Okay, so you get these automatically. That's good to know. Alright, so I don't have to pick one. This is all stuff that I'm getting because of my, um... My... Affinities. I get extra strength for a lot of things. Orbital coverage on and next to any tile with Rek'Site. Do they actually mean any tile? Can I go all over the map now? Alright, level 3 Harmony. That's cool. Alright, that dude's still healing. Oh, look at this. Alright, I'm still invisible. Alright, this guy definitely needs to heal up, so let's send him to friendly territory. Alright, keep going. You need to join your allies. They're, okay, they're starting to get a little close to him now. Shouldn't take too much longer. Research. Alright, so we definitely want to... Um, ooh, okay. Uh, we do want... Both things, well, food would be good as well, but we need more harmony. Nano hive, they're invisible apparently. Cool. Precog project. Genetic design. That one's pretty sweet actually, a lot of health from that one. And also cloning plants so we can get some, um, some nice food from it. Alien life forms. Um, maybe we want to see some geothermal, actually. Because we will probably need that at some point. Allows worker miasma immunity. It's also pretty sweet. Okay. Feed side hub. Sonar net. Terraforming. Oh, boy. All right. So the biggest thing right now is that we have so many choices to, to go with. Surveillance web. I mean, we do also want, um, domes. 
We want to win by domination, so we also want to focus on getting better troops. See, this one would be very nice. Technical robotics. We would get to level 8 in supremacy. I'm going with that one, actually. Yep, I made my choice. Alright, so in Deep Castle, we will make a... What the hell is a disciple? I'm guessing this used to be a marine. I kind of hate how they change the names for everything so much. Um, because that can actually get very confusing. Alright, heal up, buddy. We can make it. All they have to do is just defend here until the other guys show up. Um, and then with that fleet, we should be able to overrun Australia, I'm thinking. Could be a trick you are, though. But, you know, we made it this far, so obviously I, I do want to take him out. And we're earning 100 energy per turn. I'm pretty sure that no one can take me out at this point. I can just buy so many units and then produce them super quickly as well. Alright, who's this guy? What? How did he even get here? Oh, right. He was... Okay. Totally forgot about this guy. Jeez. Out of my way, alien scum. Alright, friendly territory. We're gonna take good, good care of you, buddy. Deep Castle now has room for another trait route. That's... That's cool. Um, Arbiter, Tenet, Tidehunter. Alright, let's get one more cutter, which is now called a Tenet. Alright. Like, it's cool that they get upgrades, but changing the name, I think, can be very confusing. Alright. Oh, we've been spotted. They found us. Well, let's open fire, then. Let's do this thing. Alright, so that should definitely take him out. I forgot that the cruiser got an upgrade. He's actually... Cruisers are extremely powerful now. Alright, so let's defend our ally here. Alright, so let's just defend. Oh god, flanking bone. Alright, we gotta go for it. It's like... Basically the best circumstances to attack this guy. So, just gotta take the attack, really. Oh, they're making a Cyto Nursery. That's good. So they are making some stuff that should improve our health. Oh god. This could get ugly. Although we have far, far better upgrades and stuff like that, so... Yeah, alright. You know what? I think we got this. They all, they all attack this one boat, and it's still doing just fine. And we can easily get rid of most of his boats next turn, so... I'm not too worried anymore, actually. Having seven supremacy was probably a good call. Alright, that's all those aliens dead. But hey, it's free science. I'm not turning that down. Just save me, like, a turn or two. Alright, let's go. Let's actually get rid of this alien nest while we're here. Yeah. Destroyed it. What do we have? Oh, we have no artifacts anymore. Alright, heal up, buddy. Keep going. You're almost there. Oh god, they're so close. Alright, so I'm gonna have my cruiser open fire at this guy. Instantly killing him. Alright, no problem. Then I am shooting this guy. Also killing him. Leaving Australia with only one boat. Then I move my other cutter and go like this. Actually... Oh boy. Alright, maybe we should just defend with the other one. Yeah, let's just do that. Let's do some damage. Uh, but not take him out instantly. We have no idea what else is out there. And I don't want any of my boats to die. Um, as that would be a bit of a waste. Alright, are you ready to make peace? I'm winning this war. And may claim spoils in exchange for peace. Let's end this conflict. I'm just worried that when I click this, will it just end the war, or how does that work? Yeah, you know what? I'm not really sure about this one. Alright, we stole 300 energy from them as well. So, good job, buddy. Let's steal some science next. Alright. So, it looks like the spies might still be overpowered. I think they maybe lower the chances of this working. Really? 68 energy and 35 capital. Nah, -uh. That's just not gonna do it for me, buddy. Alright. Look at that. Still going at it. Uh, he's not winning, though. He appears to have a lot of cutters. 
If they had had the same upgrade that I do, then he would have been able to take out my bow, but... You know, he doesn't, so... That sucks, sucks for him. Um, alright, we're almost there. Almost there. We gotta meet them, like, any second now. Surely those unmet players have some boats nearby. Alright, let's give them a nice veterancy. For now, let's retreat. Alright, then we'll have the Tide Hunter open fire at this guy. Can't qu uh, kill him quite yet, but we're very close. This guy. We'll take this one out. And easy as that. Alright, so it's clear to me that cruisers are extremely valuable. Uh, luckily I have some extras arriving now, some reinforcements there. Alright, this guy's just gonna heal up. If he decides to attack this boat, then it's just a suicide att attack, and I'm not really sure what he's uh, hoping to get from it. Alright, he's got some gunners. He's got a few more cutters, but do I really care? Nah. Works has begun on an auto plan. We have over a thousand uh, diplomatic capital. Alright, this guy is about to meet some of the last players in the game that we still haven't met. Come on, we're almost there. Alright, so this cruiser gets an upgrade instantly as well. Let's send him out there. Alright, we got this cutter as well. Also with a nice upgrade. And let's see, I would definitely, after what I've just seen, I would like another Disciple. Alright, keep going. Alright, in the capital we can make one of those in only four turns, that's really, really quick. Drone Cage in, uh, nine. Okay, uh, uh, autonomously heals adjacent wounded units, that's actually really cool, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get another Arbiter. Uh, they're just really, really strong, yep, you got it. I am willing to work with everybody. Alright, let's see. Personality traits. So, we might as well upgrade some of these things. Alright. It's quite expensive, but it's probably worth it just to do it. We have far too much uh, diplomatic capital around. Let's take a look. So, it looks like we made it to, um, to his homeland. He must be getting slightly worried at this point, I'm guessing. Alright, he's just gonna heal for now. Because he was on the verge of dying, and that's just not useful at all. So they actually heal extra outside of friendly territory as well, which is very, very convenient. And he's the only player so far that we, um, that we know who might be able to stop me. And he's about to go down, so... I feel bad for him. I right, just got an achievement, I don't know... Uh, for what though? All right, let's go. If we met... Come on, I can see your territory. There we... What, who is this? Oh, it's this dude. What, we're at war? Pleasure to meet you. Well, we're at war, dude. Maybe we need to, like, work on that a little bit. White peace. Sweet. All right, no war with that guy. Why is she red? Oh, I'm making a mistake by trusting them. What, so they're all angry because I just made peace with this guy? Why? Alright. I, I didn't say I trusted them, I just said, hey, let's not go to war. But apparently that's, like, annoying or bad in some way in uh, Rising Tide. Apparently you don't want to make peace with people. You know, I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh god, this is... Seriously? One attack will take out this entire city. Die, Australia. Die. Alright, let's go. Jesus Christ. And he's supposed to be like the... One of the more dangerous players in this game, but... You know, so far I'm not really getting that from him at all. Seriously? All right, let's make some space then so that they can move up. Get out of here, Tide Hunter. You have no place in this conflict. Get the hell out of here. Boom. And now it can still get there in one turn. Sweet. And city is mine. 
All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, God. If we raise it, then... The health is going to be very bad. Thing is, I'm not sure I even want this thing. All they have is a Saito nursery and a dry dock, but at the same time, we probably want to keep this for now, so let's make a puppet. Um, Happiness-wise, probably not the best move, but aside from that... Should be okay. All right, so he still has some troops, but I... Pretty sure that he will not be able to do much. Uh, what's up, dude? Yeah, how, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? I accept your unconditional surrender. That's why you're here. Nope. Not really. All right, so we're going to continue this war in the next part, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we're just going to try to take Freeland from him in the next part. So we got a lot of reinforcements on the way. Honestly, I don't really foresee this being a big problem. But yeah, we'll see you in the next part. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you later.